Okay guys, we are at one of the breeding ponds. This is a satellite male. He's waiting for a female to get to the pond. So we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the pond and see what we find. So this is a calling male. After three weeks of no action since the first movement, it's been quiet and now all of a sudden toads have decided that it's time, it's warm enough and it's time to start breeding. So these guys are calling the females to come to the pond and the satellite males are going to catch those females before they get into the pond. These guys are fighting for their little territorial spot. It's quite tense. These guys are all pretty territorial. And this guy's actually pretty tired from being in the water, so he's decided to come onto the rock and call. So this is a satellite male. And look at the way he's standing on his tippy toes to be higher so you can look for a female to get into the pond. So females actually can't go into the pond without a mate. So these satellite males are really important. They're brightly colored, waiting for that female. When they get into the pond, then she can drop her eggs when she's ready. But if she goes into the pond without a mate, then she'll just get drowned by all of the calling males. So the female has walked all the way down to the pond from sometimes up to about three, four kilometers away and she has found her mate and now she's in the pond and she is in a, a position called amplexus where the male is hugging her tightly and when the time is right then she'll drop her eggs and he'll drop the sperm. As soon as she's dropped her eggs which will take a couple of hours then she'll go back to her home immediately and then the males once the pond is full of eggs the males will leave the pond within a day or two 